and I'll be making a speech about chocolate. So, how many of you guys like chocolate? Me? Have you ever taken a bite out of a chocolate bar and wondered what is made, what makes chocolate? No. Because I do, you know. <laughs> I love chocolate. I'm a fan. And I'm also a baker, so I like to know what exactly I'm putting into my ingredients. So, um, chocolate is eaten by many. As you can see, most of you guys raised your hands. And I said I love chocolate. Um, I use it when I bake. Or sometimes, you know, I have a sudden craving for a chocolate bar. So I run to like the liquor store or something and go buy it and I eat it and I enjoy it. You know, and then, so, as I mentioned, as a baker, I want to know what exactly it is that I'm putting into my ingredients to make something out of the chocolate. First, I will talk about where chocolate comes from. Secondly, I will talk about how to make a chocolate bar. And finally, I will talk about white chocolate and the difference between um, how, well, technically how it's not considered white chocolate. So, first, chocolate comes from cocoa. Cocoa is grown in Latin America or Asia. It's 10 to 20 degrees from the equator. <clears throat> it grows with both humid and tropical weather temperatures. Um, once the cocoa powder is grown, as you can see in the picture, it turns into this yellow looking, I mean yellow oval looking seed. Once it's ready, it's being cut down from the tree. They open it up, and inside, okay, inside you see a section. They open it up, and it's five columns for each section. And the one, the part that we use for the chocolate is inside of that. But it's just not just pulled out of the seed. It actually has to go through a process. The first process that it goes through is. Um, fermentation, which according to the late champion chocolates, last uh, um, updated in 2013, fermentation is actually when they take out the seed and then the leaves from the same exact tree are put on top of the seeds and it's that's where the chocolate begins to take in its color and the flavor. After that, the seeds are dried out once they are dried out, as you can see right here, they're placed in the sun and with the same exact leaf, they are tossed and turned constantly. This process takes up to 14 days, I believe. So once that's done, once it's dried out, they get the, uh, the cocoa seeds and they send them to the factories. Now that I've told you guys how this process I will talk about um, how to make a chocolate bar. So the chocolate bar, once the factories receive the cocoa seeds, they, the seeds have to be roasted. This takes about two hours to roast. And once they are roasted, they're put into a machine that, and that machine crushes them and breaks them apart. Once they're broken apart, they are, um, basically just nibs afterwards. And once they're done, so according to facts about chocolate, um, last published in 2016, um, the nibs are mixed with the chocolate liquor. Don't worry, the chocolate liquor is not actually liquor, so it doesn't contain any alcohol. It's just um, cocoa in a liquid form. So it's mixed with that, as well as other ingredients into a steel um, rollers, which looks like this. They mix the chocolate with milk, um, vanilla, cocoa butter, um, the cocoa liquor, and other ingredients. And they mix it and mix it and mix it for several times until they actually refine the chocolate to get it to the right consistency. From 
there, you know, the chocolate is placed on somewhere else to harden, and once they design it and everything, like you see the Hershey's bar, how nice and carved it is and everything. <laughs> so that. So then at the end, it turns into this little square that you see right there. Now that I've talked to you guys about how chocolate is made, I'll talk to you guys about white chocolate. So white chocolate, according to um, Kate Braskier, a publisher, uh, editor for the Huntington Post, um, on October 28, 2014, she wrote an article that says, um, "White chocolate. what is white chocolate? So white chocolate is not chocolate at all. For the main reason is because it does not use any cocoa powder or any cocoa which is used to make the chocolate. Instead, the substitute for the cocoa is just cocoa butter. It's not the same. It's kind of different. But just because it's not chocolate doesn't mean you can enjoy white chocolate. <laughs> you know, my favorite chocolate bar is the White Hershey's. You know, and I was really good. Um, so from there, you get that. So as I mentioned, now I'm going to close this up a little. Um, as I mentioned, as a baker, I want to know exactly what it is that I'm putting into, like, either a cake or a frosting. Um, I talked to you guys about where chocolate comes from and how it's made, and then about white chocolate. And something that you guys can remember is that you can actually make white chocolate at your house. So if you're ever in the mood to eat white chocolate, all you need is a microwave, a microwavable bowl, some milk, cocoa butter, vanilla, and powdered sugar. Thank you. <laughs>